After a month of production delays, Pfizer is sending hundreds of thousands of vaccines to Mexico from its pharmaceutical factory in Belgium. The Mexican government planned on Pfizer's ability to deliver enough vaccines for millions of the nation's frontline medical workers and senior citizens. Since December, Pfizer had sent at least seven shipments of vaccines to Mexico, all contained just the first two vaccines that the Pfizer vaccine system requires. The result, shortages of the second Pfizer shot in Mexico and delays for the government's plan to vaccinate all frontline workers and senior citizens by the end of April. At the U.S.-Mexico border in Tijuana this week, Mexico's president revealed that he had sent the United Nations a letter requesting that the world's richest countries share their global vaccine supply with developing nations. Six months ago, we presented a resolution to the United Nations asking rich nations not to hoard the vaccines, something that unfortunately is happening. Our resolution received near unanimous approval. Mexico has already used nearly 1.6 million doses of Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines. Vamos a ver la At a news conference last week, Mexico's top antivirus epidemiologist said that demand still outpaces vaccine supplies. The next day, he came down with the virus. Each company that makes a COVID vaccine has a certain production capacity. Fortunately, that capacity has been increasing, but supply is still very far below what is required. We spoke with a leading epidemiologist and spokesman for the National Autonomous University's COVID Attention Commission. Not even one million vaccines have been applied to people over 60, and we are talking about a population of 12 to 15 million. There is no clear vision on how these people will be vaccinated. For now, Pfizer is expected to deliver another shipment of more than 850,000 vaccines to Mexico next week. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.